specifically looking at the patient population of gay and bisexual men. There's a huge knowledge gap. There's really not much um, research out there looking at this patient population, and we wanted to see what the specific needs and challenges were of this population seeking parenthood. With the goals ultimately of being able to take this information to create a, an inclusive environment, not only in our office at RMA, which I think is, re is really inclusive, we work very hard at it, but to be able to translate that so that that care is being able to be provided elsewhere as well. So we found in this study that over 80% of the patients who had gone through the process already did feel like the fertility staff specifically addressed their needs as gay or bisexual men. But about 50% had to travel outside of their state or country in order to get the services due to legal reasons. Uh, most gay and bisexual men that go through this process do not have any sort of insurance coverage for it because um, there's no woman involved and um, so coverage is voided typically. And so we want to use this as a tool in clinic to help patients, but we also want to increase exposure to this patient population and ideally get to a point where there's better access to care, where insurance companies are um, providing coverage. Being part of the RMA network obviously has a, a tremendous amount of benefit. Patient care, support, cutting edge, clinical care, but it, it, it's really great that we're able to be part of this, this large research network. And so we're able to participate in a number of studies looking at a whole host of things. It's the largest series that we're aware of looking at this patient population, but it is still a small series. So I do feel like this sort of study is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much potential out there in the field of reproductive medicine. Um, one of the biggest draws for going into this field for me is the research potential of being able to um, explore new avenues to help uh, couples have children.